Hi, I'm Steve Zamborski from NAPCO, and welcome to another Technical Tuesdays. This series provides information to help you succeed. Today we're going to be talking about our coding lines and specifically their mix ratios to ensure that you have everything correct. Let's start off by talking about our solvent board coatings. All of our bathtub and tile refinish lines have a specific two-part resin to one-part catalyst, one-part reducer ratio. And that reducer is really important to ensure that you have sprayable viscosity. Also, make sure that you use our reducer for that particular coating line. If you use something like lacquer thinner or acetone, you can cause bubbling or blistering in the finish, and you don't want that. Next up is our epoxy primer in a specific one part resin, one part catalyst ratio. There's no reducer at all because it's pretty thin to begin with. Last up is our high build primer. That's in a four part resin to one part catalyst ratio. You can add a little reducer if you like, but that's also a very thin coating. We recommend that you use universal catalyst for the high build primer. In terms of our waterborne coatings, the good news is there's nothing to add or nothing to reduce. So you can load up your gun, apply the waterborne coating, and then put it back into the container after you're done, thus eliminating any waste. Well, that's all. I hope this explains our mix ratios for our, all of our coating lines and that you found something useful from this video. Thank you for joining me at another Technical Tuesday and we'll see you next time.